What's up guys, my name is Brandon and welcome back to the 45th Jailbreak Update video. And man, this is gonna be one of the most exciting episodes in a long time. So of course, as you can tell by the title in this video, we're gonna be talking all about the iOS 11 Jailbreak and how it could be here very, very soon. We'll also be talking about Ian Beer's exploit that was recently released, the multiple researchers who are actually working on this jailbreak publicly and kind of working together on it. We're gonna be talking about Soric and much more. All right, so let's start from the beginning since there's been a ton of news since the last Jailbreak Update episode. So just as expected, Ian Beer did end up releasing his kernel exploit for iOS 11.1.2 and below and you can basically see it all here I will have this linked in the description as well now of course this is not a full jailbreak it's simply a very powerful kernel exploit with TFP which means that it does give you read write access and just this exploit alone with read write access gets us super close to a jailbreak just this exploit alone so we're definitely very close just from the initial release of this exploit by Ian Beer and that brings me to my next point which is who's actually working on this jailbreak who actually took this exploit from Ian Beer and is working on a full-fledged jailbreak jailbreak and also who's going to be releasing it since I mentioned earlier that there are multiple people working on it who's actually going to be releasing it so let's talk about that so as I mentioned there are multiple people who have been working on this jailbreak kind of just all separately they've kind of just all done their own thing and they've been making amazing progress recently so the first one is George aka Ninja Prawn and he's actually played a very big role in the progression of this you know kind of community jailbreak that a lot of people are working on so this guy took Ian Beer's original exploit the Xcode project and actually modified it and gave it read write access so now we have have full read write access with the exploit now and that's obviously shared he made it open source on github and everything so that is a big big deal and he's definitely one to think for something like this he's only a 17 year old as well so it's pretty impressive and then we also have great progress from abraham aka cheesecake ufo and you can see here the tweets from him the first one being a picture of Cydia running on ios 11.1.2 and the second being a tweet that says this about the jailbreak number one Cydia runs but it's super limited basically nothing works at the moment two i don't usually tease stuff but this one took me so much time and I wanted to share what I got with you and three so much work needs to be done so that tweet tells us a lot about the current status basically of Cydia and this jailbreak obviously it's still a very much uh you know work in progress and a lot of people are still working together on it we're still have sort to talk about as well with Cydia so we'll talk about that here in a minute and then you can see here we have tweets from Victor aka Steck29 who shows that SSH is actually working on iOS 11 so he's the first one to actually get SSH working on iOS 11 which was you know another obstacle and a big step in the right direction for this jailbreak and of course there are many other security researchers and developers out there to thank for a lot of things a lot of the code actually used inside of this jailbreak for just random things inside this jailbreak i mean we have morpheus to thank we have zero to thank we have no river to thank uh ninja Pron again to thank and just many others you know for some of the code and some of the, just the other minor things that you know aren't so obvious from the outside looking in for just your normal average user looking at a jailbreak they don't really see a lot of these developers the work that they put in you know to make these jailbreaks possible and as i mentioned earlier this is the first and as I mentioned earlier this is the first time in the history of iOS jailbreaks that I've ever seen you know multiple people publicly working on a jailbreak you know multiple people that have never been affiliated before never worked together you know they're not on a private team or anything like that basically just working together publicly on Twitter for this jailbreak you know they're solving different areas of the jailbreak like SSH we're talking about mobile substrate we're talking about the read write access you know just a lot of small things like that that multiple you know different people are solving and basically making it open source so basically it's just going to be you know a combination of things from all these developers and security researchers that's eventually going to be packaged together and made into a full jailbreak and obviously since multiple people are working on it there's a good chance we're going to get multiple jailbreaks as well even though they're probably going to be the exact same thing maybe just a minor difference here or there so with that being said that does make this release a little bit tricky because we really don't know who's going to be releasing it you know it could be multiple people at the same time you know we just really don't know at this point who's going to be releasing it but it's definitely looking like it is going to be released and pretty soon and you guys already know that i'll be one of if not the very first on youtube here to bring you guys a tutorial on how to jailbreak your ios 11.1.2 device so make sure you're subscribed and make sure you have that bell icon clicked so you have notifications turned on so you know exactly when that jailbreak does come out you can also follow me on twitter for even quicker updates and i'll have that link down in the description below so now that we have the actual exploit now now that we have read write access now that we have ssh working now that we have you know city actually up and running on these devices what's actually stopping us from getting a full jailbreak right now why don't we have a full jailbreak if we have what seems like everything essentially to make a full jailbreak why don't we have a full jailbreak yet and the reason for that is because Cydia is not updated for iOS 11 yet as well as mobile substrate so without mobile substrate you know none of our tweaks none of our themes or anything will work properly we pretty much saw something similar to this back with Yala when it first came out you know we had all those kind of different ways of activating you know bypassing mobile substrate so we're waiting on mobile substrate and we're waiting on Cydia to be updated for iOS 11 
11. And of course, Sorik is the only one who can update those. And sure enough, guess what? Sorik actually made a post on Reddit where he confirmed that he's actually working on Cydia, updating it for iOS 11. And another quick interesting note here is that the developer Andrew Wick actually achieved springboard injection without the need of mobile substrate. So this is great news if substrate doesn't get updated, but I highly doubt it won't be for iOS 11, but this is gonna be you know another way, I guess, to inject the springboard without mobile substrate, which is really promising, potentially for more in the future of jailbreaking. So now let's talk a little bit about Sorg here. So you can see here that he made it very clear in this lengthy Reddit response that he doesn't make much profit at all, if any, from Cydia anymore. And he basically went off on a commenter who claimed that he wasn't updating Cydia because he quote, you know, didn't need to, or just, you know, just other small little jabs at Sork. Sork wasn't having it. So he, re you know, responded with this big lengthy post, which is actually really, really insightful. And then just yesterday, he came back with a response on Reddit confirming that he is updating Cydia for iOS 11, despite losing money and having to deal with all the naysayers on a monthly basis. So this is absolutely excellent news because Sork himself would not be updating Cydia if a jailbreak was not right around the corner. We know Sork, we've known how he's operated. He would not be doing this if he didn't know for sure that a jailbreak was pretty much just around the corner. And once again, once we have an updated Cydia and mobile substrate, that's all we need for a full functioning jailbreak. Once he gets done with this, we're gonna have a jailbreak in our hands, publicly released, and everybody's gonna be happy again. And I mean, to be honest, at this point, I would not be surprised if we got a jailbreak before Christmas, but of course, I'm not saying that, I'm not giving that as an ETA. I'm just saying at this point, you know, we're that close that it could just be any time now. But then again, on the flip side, you know, Sork is known to kind of, you know, go pretty slow with the development of things and updating of things. We saw that a lot with Cydia Impactor back, you know, a few months ago, but you know, we'll see. Just make sure to keep it locked to my channel and to my Twitter account to make sure you don't miss anything. Now, as I mentioned, Sork isn't making any money. He's actually losing money every month from Cydia. So to keep him a little bit more motivated, it'd be really cool if you guys could go over and donate a couple bucks to him via PayPal or through his new Patreon campaign. You can find these links on Sork.com. And if anybody's worth donating to, it's Sork. I mean, without Sork and Cydia, jailbreaking would not be near as awesome as it is now, maybe not even exist. So again, links in the description, I highly suggest donating to help Sork out with the costs of running Cydia, because of course, those are not very low costs. So that's basically all for the iOS 11 jailbreak at this point. There's just so much news. You know, there's a lot of small other details that I may even make another follow-up video to this on maybe tomorrow or the next day or this weekend. I will be live streaming this weekend as well. But now let's talk about the 10.3.3 and below jailbreak. I know a lot of people have been very confused when they stayed on 10.3.1, 10.3.2, or 10.3.3. And then they see that an iOS 11 jailbreak is coming out and they kind of panic and think, you know, well, I waited, you know, I stayed on the lowest firmware possible and now I'm not going to be getting a jailbreak, but if I would have updated, I would have. So what's the deal with that? Well, you're actually going to be getting a jailbreak as well, just from somebody different. So Saguza right here, you can see is working hard on this one and the jailbreak, it will be called Vortex. So it already has TFP root access and all. So basically a full-fledged jailbreak for this one is also likely right around the corner. Now this exploit also got ported over to 32-bit devices by Timstar here. So it looks like we may see a jailbreak for both 32 and 64-bit devices on 10.3.3 and below very soon. So once again, this is awesome news for those of you who stuck around on 10.3.x. And this is going to be very interesting because we can get two jailbreaks, you know, pretty much maybe in the same month or within the span of just a couple months for two different versions, which would be really awesome. I'm not sure if I've ever really seen that since a long time ago when jailbreaks would just continuously pump out, you know, on a regular basis. Also, another little interesting tidbit here is that Coolstar confirmed on Twitter recently that the 11.2 SEP is compatible with 11.1.2, meaning that you're going to be able to downgrade properly with blobs and not lose your touch ID functionality. And also Apple killed off iOS 11.1.1 and iOS 11.1.2 over the weekend. So if you did not update or downgrade to one of those versions by now, by the time you're watching this video, you're pretty much out of luck, unfortunately. However, most new iPhone 8 and iPhone 10s will come with iOS 11.1.2 or below. So that is just another option for you. So anyways, guys, that's basically everything that's been going on in the jailbreak community since the last jailbreak update episode. It's been a lot of news lately, just a big barrage of news just constantly coming. And it's going to keep coming constantly. So again, make sure you're following me on Twitter and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss anything. It's a very exciting time right now. And I'm glad that a lot of you guys believed in me when I said jailbreaking is not dead. You weren't one of the people that just said, oh, jailbreaking is dead. I know what I'm talking about. You guys, you know, listen to me and you knew that jailbreaking was not dead. So this is just proof again, we're going to be having possibly two jailbreaks for two different versions of iOS coming very, very soon. Super exciting stuff. And once again, I'm not going to give any kind of ETA because we really don't know, you know, how quick Sork's going to be working on this, how quick he's going to finish up updating Cydia and Substrate for iOS 11. We really don't know. And that's basically who we're
we're waiting on. So I'm not going to give any ETA because nobody really knows at this point, but just know that it's very, very close. And as always, if you guys do have any questions, if I maybe wasn't clear about something in this video, let me know down in a comment below and I'll definitely make sure to get back to you as soon as possible. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you did enjoy the video. If you did, and if you're looking forward to this iOS 11 jailbreak being released, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications if you haven't done so already. And keep in mind, I will be posting a lot of jailbreak related videos once this jailbreak does come out. And I will be bringing back the beloved jailbreak tweaks, the top tweaks series that a lot of you guys have been asking me about. So that will be coming back for sure once this jailbreak gets released. So anyways, guys, thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon. Oh man, I don't want to turn this camera off. This news is so exciting. I just want to talk about jailbreak all day. Forget all these betas, forget everything else. Let's talk about the jailbreak all day. What do you guys think? I'll see you on the live stream this weekend. <laughs>